There are times when Secure Shell isn't a good enough means of remote administration. Say, for example, you have a machine, be it yours or a client's, and you need to be able to remotely work on the desktop. To that end, you can employ a service or you can always set up remote screen sharing. This is not only a great way to remotely administer a desktop machine, it's also one method of instructing a user on their desktop. You know those clients. The ones who simply cannot grasp a concept through words. That type of user needs visual cues to understand what's going on, or maybe you simply need to remote into your desktop to take care of a particular task. Regardless of why, how do you pull this off? In Ubuntu 18.04, the task has become remarkably simple. I want to walk you through the process of setting this up and then connecting to that desktop via the Ramina Remote Desktop Client. Open up the Settings window. In that window, click on the Sharing button. Click the On-Off slider until it is in the On position. Click the newly enabled Screen Sharing button. In the resulting pop-up, click the On-Off slider to the On position. Once you've taken care of that, you can enable the options for New Connections Must Ask for Access or Require a Password. If you know someone will be seated at that desktop, I highly recommend you enable New Connections Must Ask for Access. If you're not sure if anyone will be at the desktop, enable the Password option. You can only select one of these options. Open up the Ramina Desktop Client. Select VNC from the drop-down and enter the IP address for the remote desktop machine. Hit enter on your keyboard and the connection will be made. Congratulations, that's all there is to setting this up. I will make this word of warning. If you don't use desktop sharing on a regular basis, I'd recommend you disable it when it's not needed. If you leave desktop sharing open for business 24 seven, you leave that desktop vulnerable to attacks. So when you're done with the remote desktop sharing, have a user at that desktop disable the feature. When you need it again, have someone enable it. 